Hey YouTube, just want to do a quick uh, video on uh, grip. Um, there are tons and tons of, uh, of videos out there already, so this is, um, I'm going to try to keep it pretty short because I, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but um, grip is important and I just figured I would go over uh, just, some, just some of the basics of it just so you can get started on the right foot, okay? Um, First of all, there's there's lots of variations on technique and even grips. Um, and the reason why there are so many variations is simply there isn't one technique that does it all perfectly. There isn't one technique that, that's gonna do everything you need it to do perfectly. So you're gonna find as you grow that, you, that you're gonna need to try out some of these other variations um, and, and just find out ways um, that, um, that you can execute what you want to execute. Um, so, but with that being said, I'm just going to kind of start off with the, what I would consider to be the default um, beginner approach, you know, to at least start with. Okay, so I'm going to cover both grips. I'm going to cover match grip and traditional grip. Um, so what I usually do with most of my students is I start them with match grip. Even though I'm primarily a traditional grip player, I play both ways, but uh, I predominantly play traditional. But I usually start most of my students with matched. And uh, so what I usually do is I try to get them to basically squeeze the stick, all right, be between the first and second joint of your index finger and your thumb, just like just like this. All right, and this is going to create a, uh, your fulcrum, which is basically just a pivot point. This is how the stick is going to pivot in your grip. Okay? So once you have that, that fulcrum point, you then wrap your fingers around the stick. All right? You turn your hand over, and that's your grip. Okay? You don't want the grip to be tight. I mean, you don't want to uh, squeeze the stick. You want it to be loose. Okay? Uh, most of the pressure is going to be really at your fulcrum. Okay? But you want to keep your grip overall really loose, okay? You want your palms facing down, all right? And you want to move your wrist just the way your wrist naturally moves, okay? So a lot of things that I see from beginners that you want to be uh, careful of is I'll see them turn their hand over like this, or I'll see them go like this and use their arm and no wrist. Uh, I'll see them stick their finger out like that. You definitely want to stay away from that, okay? Those are some of the most common. So keep your grip just like this, okay? And move your wrist exactly the way it naturally moves, which is up and down, okay? And try to focus on just using your wrist at first and, and, and try not to use, you know, any arm if possible, all right? Okay, so that's going to be your basic match grip, okay? And, and uh, for the left hand, the left hand will be identical to the right hand. So um, whatever your right hand is doing, your left hand is going to do the same. Okay, and that's going to be your matched grip. Now some of the hand positions, that, and, the, and I guess these are considered variations of the grip, would be as follows. Uh, you have three basic um, varieties of match grip. You got what's called German, which is your palms are flat, pointing straight down. You have French, which is where your hands come up and your and your thumbs are on top. Or you have American, which is kind of a hybrid in between uh, the other two. Um, I usually basically play American, but again, none of these positions are incorrect. Okay, uh, again, you might need to to try some of these different positions based on what you're trying to play. Okay, again, as I said in the beginning, there isn't one method or one technique that's gonna do everything you need it to do. Okay, but in the beginning, I would just start off with a basic American grip uh, as follows. Okay, and just, just use your wrist up and down. Okay, traditional grip, a lot more complicated. All right, but, um, you know, with traditional grip, there are a few variations as well, but there are a, are a thousand ways to do it wrong. And really, if you're not doing it correctly, you're, you're pretty much gimping yourself. Um, so I actually started this way. Um, so I learned traditional before I even ever played matched, um, ironically, I guess. 
So the usual way I start, and I'm sure you've seen this on other videos, is um, you know sticking your hand out like you're going to shake somebody's hand, okay? And the fulcrum is going to be between the webbing of your hand and your thumb. That's that's the fulcrum for for traditional grip, okay? So what I usually get beginners doing first is just starting there, okay, and then holding the stick, okay, with that thumb, and just trying to turn their wrist as follows, okay? So the motion of this grip is gonna be just like turning a doorknob, okay? So you're going like this, okay? So just holding the stick with the thumb, just turn your hand like you would turn a doorknob and see if you can get this going, okay? And honestly, I'd probably practice this for a while before you even worry about the fingers. Okay? Now once that feels pretty comfortable to you, all right, the fingers will, will kind of work like this. And again, there's some variation to this, okay? But basically, you want to bring your index finger over and form a T, all right? And have your thumb hold the index finger like this, okay? So they're going to form a T. As far as where your thumb should go, Really, you know, anywhere in between the first and second joint, anywhere around there, depending on the size of the stick, the size of your fingers, okay? But you just want to form a basic T, all right? And your index finger is forming not quite a 90 degree angle over the stick, but, you know, it's, it's curved, it's, it's elongated, it's relaxed, okay? So you want to get that, that point um, where these two fingers are touching, very important, okay? And then the stick is going to lie on the cuticle of your ring finger like this, okay? Just like that, all right? And your pinky is just going to curve underneath your ring finger and support it, all right? So if you can tell, my, um, my index finger and my ring finger are basically parallel to each other, okay? Just like this, all right? Now the middle finger is base. It's on top of the stick, but it's essentially straight out. Now when I say straight out. I don't mean like stiff. Okay, it's relaxed. It's curved, but it's on top of the stick. Okay, and really the middle finger just acts like a guide to keep the stick in its plane. Okay. Now later on, when you get into some finger control type ideas, you can you can utilize the middle finger, which I'll talk about um, later. But uh, for now, yeah, it just basically is curved, elongated, but straight, and it just essentially rides alongside of, of the stick when the stick is in motion. And again, it just keeps the stick in its plane, okay? Because if you bend the finger, which I see this a lot, this allows the stick to start going like this, okay? So making that middle finger more tight keeps the stick, you know, straight and, and aligned, okay? So that's the basic grip. Okay, so a couple things you want to be careful of is first, you want to make sure that when the stick is down, that the palm is sticking out to the right. Okay, um, one thing I see a lot from beginners is they'll turn their hand over like this. So when the stick is down, the palm is facing upwards. Okay, um, if that's happening, turn that hand over, get the knife edge of your hand to be um, vertical to the um, playing surface, have your palm facing right, okay? Also make sure that your arm and wrist and hand are straight right here, okay? You don't want to be going like this or like this, okay? You want, you want this part to be nice and straight, okay? And then the angle from your arm to the stick is, not, is definitely going to be greater than 90 degrees, okay? It's going to be just like this, okay? So coming out like that, all right? And again, you're going to turn the hand just the way we were doing earlier, just like, just like turning a doorknob, okay? All right. So again, you want to concentrate on keeping the thumb and index finger touching, okay? Now, that's, that might be a little bit difficult uh, for you beginners uh, as well. Something you can do is you could take like a dime or a little piece of paper or something else that's real small that you can sit there and hold between your thumb and index finger. That can help you just so you can get used to keeping these two guys together. 
okay? And again, really monitor that index finger. Monitor uh, that the stick is resting on the ring finger, okay? As well as monitor your palm. So with traditional grip, there's a lot of little nuances that you need to be paying attention to just to make sure that you're doing it right. Because again, it's so easy to do it to do it incorrectly. If you're not doing it right, it's it's really not worth using. I mean, ultimately, okay. So just be really conscientious of all these various things, and uh, I think you'll find the grip to be um, really fun and effective, um, and in a much different way than than matched grip. So. Okay, so your palms, your fingers, your arm and wrist, right? So just be aware of that, okay? And you'll be, uh, you'll be doing great. And again, just like the right hand, you want your grip and your fingers and your hand to be relaxed. You don't want to be, you know, stiff and, you know, squeezing the stick super, super tight, nice and relaxed, okay? Because this is going to segue into my next uh, beginner's series video, which is on um, our basic stroke, which I think is really overlooked uh, with uh, many drum set players. So, uh, or beginning drum set players, I should say. So, um, so that's the basic grip. So uh, good luck with that, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, take care.